Hey guys, John Hambrick here uh, with Matthias Lavelle. Today we're going to talk about our newest initiative, the TRIO Airflow System. And Matthias, tell us a little bit about what this does and what's, what's involved in it. Hello again. So the, we'll start with the first part. So the main thing, we got our ducting here and we, this will help with craftsmanship. This is your splice block. This is an end block. So this would go in your duct run on the end and this would be to make the connections between the two. So as you can see, it's installed on this one and it's very rigid and solid. Without that, it will cause this to uh, move. So that's where it starts. And then here's our new rotier. We partnered with our RV Airflow Systems to kind of design it to catch and grab the air more, which is what these little tabs here are for. That goes into your ductwork. And then we have the actual foam block, the RV Airflow System itself. This will go in your plenum in your air conditioning with these two uh, gaskets, flanges as they call it, pushed into your ductwork there. And it pretty much it will increase your airflow, more even cooling throughout your unit. It will cool it down quicker, uh, makes it quieter, and it's just better overall system. Matthias, tell us how this is different uh, from what we currently use. Alrighty. So our current rotiers, they, they're just straight across. They do not have these air grabbers is what we can call them. The old style, the air would just pass over. Uh, with these new, you can see the angles here, it will catch the air and cause it to uh, tumble in the air duct and force it down into the duct, which increases the volume in your unit overall. So Matthias, tell us a little bit about this block and how this is different than what we currently do. Sure thing. So currently, we don't install this block on our units and all the air that's in there in your plenum is just bouncing around and going into the ductwork. With this block, it will fill that void and just it will force the air through the ducts. As you can see my hand here, that is where it lines up with the ductwork and forces the air into that. Matthias, tell us a little bit about the splice block and what that does or how it's different than what we currently do. Sure thing. So currently we, we don't install these blocks and without these blocks, you have to try to tape these, this ductwork without misaligning it. So with these blocks, you actually put it in there and it allows you to tape and press down and align it better so the flow is not being disrupted by it being uneven. And then we also have the end blocks, which currently we would just tape the end, but now we put the block in, we tape around so it's more rigid and it's not gonna fall out or have any issues with blowouts. So now that we've talked about all the components and parts, let's see the difference. 